How to make bookshelves have actual inventories, or things that look like bookshelves have actual inventories. One of the most distressing things when I got started in Minecraft is that bookshelves don't actually have an inventory in them. I always assumed that they were some sort of functional block, but no, they just are textured. So there's been glitches and ways to kind of push chests that are sitting in minecarts into bookshelves, but they've never really worked right. The hitboxes are always a little bit weird. So Infinite Nexus on Reddit showed a way to get this to work every single time using a pretty old school trick. So let's check it out. So here we are inside of Minecraft and these are some normal bookshelves. Of course, you cannot open them. You can't click them and open any inventory inside of these bookshelves. And the way that we're going to pull off this technique is using texture packs and shulker boxes. So you'll need to create a little area that you want your bookshelves to be and place down yellow shulker boxes and make sure that they are facing so that when they open, their little chest top thing will open towards you. If you put them down like this, where it opens upwards and you put another shulker box in you won't be able to open or access that shulker box so once you have them down make sure that they are yellow go into your options go to your resource packs and add this vanilla tweaks shulker box bookshelf uh, the link for that is in the description so now we hit done and wait for it to load and now you can see that our bookshelves are added you can kind of see a little itty bitty amount of the yellow in sort of the uh, the edge there and sort of the anti-alias edge right there. But these open just fine and you have access to the bookshelf. Uh, the way that they do this is the uh, pattern right there at, on the top is the bookshelf pattern, but nothing else is. And I also want to see just uh, real fast, is the bottom texture? No. So one thing that I might suggest is do the bottom texture, then you won't have this crazy animation because if it was just the bottom texture and you did something like this, where both textures face that way, whenever you open them, it would open away and nothing would change. Anyway, just an idea. Uh, so there you go. And that is how you make a bookshelf that actually opens. Uh, it is kind of cool that it kind of twists around and goes crazy there. Uh, you could also, of course, add real books into it. So let's open up a bookshelf, throw in some books, and there we go. whole bunch of cool books. Bam. Now we have a bookshelf full of books, and it is quite nice. Uh, one thing is that you uh, only have options for the yellow shulker box. So all your other shulker boxes are the exact same same texture. And then on top of that, uh, these texture packs or resource packs, they can stack. So if you wanted to uh, have this spooky texture pack, and so I can uh, upload uh, or I can upvote almost, uh, I can uh, add on top of this as a different layer, the shulker box bookshelf. And that way... Once the texture packs load in, you can see that everything is a spooky texture pack, except that this one, this uh, bookshelf texture, is above the other, and it doesn't replace any other textures, which is kind of cool that you can layer this on top. So if you had a different texture that you like to uh, work with, and you just wanted this for the shulker boxes, you could do that and continue to use your texture pack that you know and love. Obviously, this is an extreme example because you're probably not going to be using a crazy texture pack like this. Uh, but just to keep in mind. Big thanks to Infinite Nexus over on Reddit for uh, the idea. Uh, there is a link to their uh, texture pack in the description down below. Big thanks to you. Also, thanks to you for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. It really helps us out. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights. And make sure you leave a comment letting me know what's in your brain on the webpage. Who calls it a web page? On the video. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.